problem <clears throat> 78, chapter 5. We are going to use um, instantaneous center of zero velocity for this problem again. So um, here we have two links. The first one is pinned to the ground at point O, and it is rotating in clockwise direction with 8 radian per second. The length of it is 60. And the other one is pinned to the first one at A, and also B, we have a roller at B, which is moving just in the horizontal direction. And the question is, uh, what is velocity of this point, the center of AB? You should think about this problem for 10 minutes or so. Okay, I assume you did that. Um, there are different ways to solve this. You can use um, related velocity between A and B. If you write that, that equation, you are gonna be able to find angular velocity of this link and use that to find the velocity of G. But here we want to use uh, just center of rotation or instantaneous center. So what we know here, uh, first of all, we know the velocity of A because A is on this link too, right? And we know the angular velocity of this um, um, bar. So velocity of A is gonna be perpendicular to OA and also the magnitude of it is gonna be R times omega, 60 millimeter times eight. So velocity of A is gonna be just in the vertical direction and the magnitude of it is OA times omega of this link, omega OA. So it's gonna be 60 millimeter times um, eight radian per second, 480 millimeter per second. Uh, what else we know? We know velocity of B should be in the horizontal direction, this way or the other way, because uh, the problem is simple, we know it's gonna go in this direction. But in general, let's say we don't know it's gonna go to the right or it's gonna go to the left. But we know it's gonna be in the horizontal direction, the velocity of B, right? Now look at this rigid body. I know the direction of velocity of two points of it. So if I draw perpendicular lines to these velocities, I'm going to be able to find the instantaneous center. So uh, the perpendicular line to velocity of A is going to be simply just a horizontal line. And velocity of B is in the horizontal direction. So perpendicular line to it will be just a vertical line. And these two lines are crossing each other at this point. Let's call this point C. And this angle is going to be 90 degree. So everything of AB at this moment is rotating about point C. That's the property of instantaneous center, right? And also, because I know velocity of one point of this rigid body, along with the location of the instantaneous center, I'm going to be able to find the angle of velocity of AB. So if angular velocity of AB is something like this, we know velocity of A is going to be this length times angular velocity. So velocity of A is equal to CA times omega of AB or BA. So from here, because I know the velocity of A, I know the length of CA is going to be 180 times cosine of this angle, right? And, uh, or it's going to be 180 squared minus 90 squared root square, right? So from there, omega AB is equal to velocity of A divided by CA. Um, so it's going to be equal to 480 millimeter per second divided by CA, which is square root of 180 squared minus 
this length is squared, right? Which is 90. 90 is squared. So we can find the angle of velocity of it. Whatever the number is, I don't uh, have it right now in my notes. So after finding the angle of velocity, now I can find the velocity of any other point on this rigid body. For example, if I want to find the velocity of B, I only need to multiply this length to this omega, 90 times omega AB. If I want to find the velocity of G, the velocity of G is going to be this length times omega, and uh, the direction of the velocity will be perpendicular to a CG. So this is velocity of G, velocity of G is equal to CG times omega AB. And CG is simply is equal to 90 degree, right? This is a rectangle. And these are the diameters of it. So they're gonna make uh, themselves half and you're gonna have all equal lines. So CG is equal to 90 times omega AB, which you can find it from this equation. And if you put the numbers, um, it will be equal to 277 millimeter per second. 